In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure an OS Deployment Manager. The OS Deployment Manager is the agent that will be used to create projects, images, etc. to deploy or capture an OS. For future reference, BCM refers to BMC Client Management, OSD refers to OS Deployment, KA refers to Knowledge Article. BCM uses Windows ADK to capture or deploy. This video will only cover the download of it from the BCM console. More information on how to install it manually in the K listed at the bottom of the screen. Choose the device to elect as an OSD manager. For this example, I'm selecting the master, but you can basically select any device that has a server OS among other prerequisites. Once the device has been added, click on configuration and double click on the right frame. From here, you can see that it states that Windows ADK is unknown. Click on test to see if it's available on the system. As you can see, it shows that it isn't installed, but that you can download it from the internet. Click on install Windows ADK. It states that it can take a while and that eventually if .NET 4.5 is not yet installed, the device will have to reboot. Let's have a look at the other nodes here for more information. The image repository is where the drivers, images, and projects will be stored once they are built. The default path is great. I advise to not to change it, else you want this to be stored on another drive. The network boot listener. This is the built-in TFTP server. It can be set to two modes. We will only cover the internal DHTP gateway in this how-to, because this is the easiest to set up and the more reliable. As you can see, you can set it to listen to all interfaces or to only one or more interfaces from the device. To start with the module, I suggest that you let it set to all interfaces and that you can update this later on if you need. Let's have a look at the current status of the ADK installation here. As you can see, it's currently installing the Windows ADK. This might take a little more time. As you can see in the background here, the initialization status shows Windows ADK required file could not be found. This will change once ADK will have been installed. Once ADK has been downloaded and installed by the BCM agent, click on Check Environment. If the install was successful, you will be able to click on OK now. As you can see in the background, the initialization status has changed to initialization running at 15%. It is currently building the WinP image that will be used to deploy your images to your targets. Do not try to build any project until this is finalized. You are now ready to build your first project. Thank you.